Hey, what's up guys? My name is Manny. Uh, I just wanted to show you um, something cool I found with Tell Me When that I was actually looking for and I finally figured out how to do so I thought I'd share it because I couldn't find any uh, videos or anything else online um, showing you how to do it but it's something I was actually looking for. So here we go. Um, so I'm a big fan of Tell Me When as opposed to Weak Auras just because I find it cleaner and I find it a lot easier for me anyway to use. So here are all my auras and I'm just going to create one for Death Pact. So, uh, you may or may not know, but when a Blood Decay pops Death Pact, which heals him for 50%, it also absorbs incoming healing for, what does it say, 25% max health for 15 seconds afterward. So what I wanted to create was uh, a Tell Me When aura that tracked exactly how much absorption was left of, on my Death Pact before I would start getting heals. And this is something that I wanted to track um, as a tank. So. It's not really necessary, it's just kind of like extra information that I wanted to add. But this is how you do it. So we're just going to do buff and debuff. And obviously the spell is Death Pact. Okay, it's a debuff on the player. And we'll show a timer. Like that. Okay. So let's test this out. I'm going to go into combat here and I'm just going to pop uh, Death Pact. I need to uh, get weak here for a second. Alright, so I'm down, whatever, that amount of health. There we go, death pack pops. And so it shows me how long the absorption effect lasts for, and if I mouse over, let's pause it if we have to. Death pack, the next 91,000 healing received will be absorbed. And that was over a 15 second duration. So my aura right over here showed me how long it would last, but it didn't show me that other value that when I moused over my debuff said I had 91,000 um, absorption before I started getting heals. And that's what I want to show on my aura. So this is a really cool thing. Somebody actually, I don't remember his name, but he helped me out on the Acorus forums or uh, IRC. But uh, under aura variables, and this is the thing that we're going to be talking about, under aura variables, you can display which n numerical value is being displayed in that aura. And so a couple of debuffs and buffs will have different uh, values in each debuff and then this allows you to track that. So the one that we actually want to use is first non-zero variable. Okay, I have no idea what that means, but all I know is that it works. So we're going to use this. And I'll, I'll use another example um, other than DK later, but I just want to show you this for now. So first non-zero variable. Alright, so my cooldown's back and we're going to use it again and this time it should show the value that was on the debuff in addition to my aura, okay? Just get weak here again. Alright, so here we go. And now, as you see, it'll show that value dynamically um, on top of my aura just by using that one option. So as I get healed up that should reduce and it will change based on how much healing is left. Alright, so the second aura that I wanted to create was one that tracked the value um, of my purgatory deficit. So when a DK dies, he goes into purgatory if he's talented into it. And whatever HP that he goes below zero needs to be healed back up in order to bring him back to life. Uh, purgatory itself only lasts three seconds, so it's very quick and I probably would never actually need to know just how far below death I was but again I just wanted to add more information to uh, my gameplay here so um, I created another simple buff debuff uh, shroud of purgatory aura which is the debuff that you get when you die as a DK and again all I did was set the aura variables to first non-zero variable Okay, so watch me die here There you go. 21,000, 20,000. That's how much health I needed to be healed back up before I was back to life. All right, so I want to show you another example of how I can apply this to a different class other than DK for change. So I took the same concepts that I explained um, and applied it to my monk. So let's take a look. And 
And when I pop my guard right here above my uh, target frame, you can see the value is being displayed. And it updates dynamically. So let me show you again real quick. Right there. 67,000, 57,000, 46. So I did the same thing. All I did was under aura variables, first non-zero variable. Now, the other thing that I'm using here on my monk actually, and this is kind of a cooler example than the DK stuff even. Um, I've got another aura here that's tracking my stagger amount. Um, and this is light stagger, moderate stagger, and heavy stagger. That's just to, because, you know, stagger switches for monks depending on how much damage you're taking. So I have that set to first on zero variable as well. But take a look at the value that it's displaying when I go into combat here. So I'm going to go to a less hard hitting dummy. Alright, oops. Okay, so 1752-3366. Those are the ticks that I'm taking from stagger. Okay, so let me just explain something really quick. So monks um, mitigate by converting portion of their damage taken and turning it into a dot. So the value that's being displayed on that aura on this tell me when right here is the f is set to first non-zero variable and what it wanted to show me in that case was how much I was ticking for um, from stagger but there's also the options down here variable one two three okay and by default um, tell me when wants to show you either your stacks or your duration so it'll show you the duration of whatever debuff or buff you have and chances are it'll, it can also set show your stacks by default. It'll just show like, I don't know, eight stacks of bone shield or something. Um, but you can control exactly which value is showing on it. So I have this hidden one over here that I have disabled. Oh shoot, where did it go? <laughs> that is just, oh, here it is. So I have this invisible aura. I, all I did was just turned off the texture because I didn't want to show it. And I have, it's the exact same thing as my stagger, um, tell me when, but I'll just erase this so you can actually see the thing. It's exactly the same as my stagger, uh, tell me when, but instead of setting the uh, aura variables to first non-zero, if we look at this one, I set it to only variable two, and I'll show you what that is. Make sure it's enabled. All right, so here we go. So now, as if you look at the lower left here, I'm taking stagger ticks for about 5k, 6k. But if you look at this value, it's at 60k and 70k and 62k. So the values that are showing on these two orders are different. So what is the difference? When I mouse over my stagger debuff itself, it'll say I'm taking 21,000, 2100 damage is being staggered. Sorry, one second, get hit again. 3,000 damage is being staggered every one second, but my total stagger remaining is 27,000. So what I'm showing you is that you can, again, distinguish the difference um, in values and which one is being displayed. So on my lower uh, stagger aura, it's showing me how much I'm ticking for, but by setting uh, the aura variable to variable two, and you have to mess around with it, you know, depending on what you want to see. But variable two happened to be the total amount of stagger that I had to clear. Um, it's not especially useful for a monk because as soon as I hit purifying brew, that entire value that I am staggering over time is just instantly gone. It's just paid off for. So it's not that useful, but when I turn off this texture, I do get a number, and sometimes it's nice to know, okay, I have 23,000 that I need to clear, that's a lot, or not a lot rather, and when I'm in a raid fight, I can see, oh god, like this needs to be cleared right away. And usually when I'm in combat, all I go by is this, the green, the yellow, and the red. And usually when I see yellow, I clear it, and if I see red, I panic. But it's also nice sometimes to just see the actual value of what you're mitigating. Just I don't know, just because you might want to know a little bit more about what's happening uh, behind the scenes in the combat log, which I always have open. So that's pretty much it for what I wanted to show in this video, guys. It's helped me a lot. It's uh, added just a little bit more information into the mechanics and the math behind the game. 
I uh, hope you found that useful and uh, thanks for watching.